Hey everyone, welcome to our video on use of address bus, data bus and control bus in one new architecture. In this video, we will explore the role and functionality of these buses in detail. To the renowned mathematician and physicist John von Neumann, it is the fundamental concept in modern computer design and is used in most computers today. The architecture consists of three main components, central processing unit, the memory and input-output devices. Now, let's look at the three types of buses one by one. An address bus is a component of computer's architecture that is responsible for transmitting memory addresses between various hardware components. It is an essential part of computer's ability to access and store the data. The address bus is a set of wire that allows processor to communicate with memory and other input-output devices such as hard drives or network adapters. It consists of certain number of wires or lines depending on computer's architecture and each wire or line carry binary address. The number of wires or lines in address bus is determined by maximum amount of memory that a computer can access. For example, a computer with 32-bit address bus can address up to 4 gigabytes of memory, while a computer with 64 bit address bus can address up to 16 exabytes of memory. When the processor needs to access the specific location in memory, it sends the binary address through the address bus. The address bus is then decoded by the microcontroller, which determines the location of the data in memory and receives it to processor. In addition to memory, the address bus can also use to communicate with input output devices. For example, when a processor needs to read the data from the hard drive, it sends a request to through the address bus to the hard drive which retrieves the data from the hard drive and send it back to the processor. In summary, the address bus is a critical component of the computer's architecture that enables the processor to access memory and other input-output devices. It consists of set of wires or lines that carry the binary signal and can address a specific location in memory or other devices. Now let's see a detailed explanation of data bus. A data bus is a communication pathway that allows different components of a computer system to communicate with each other. It is essentially a collection of wires that carry data from one, one component to another. Now let's take a closer look at how a data bus works. Data buses are typically classified based on their width, which refers to the number of wires that make up the bus. For example, a 32-bit data bus has 32 wires, while a 64-bit data bus has 64 wires. When data is transferred across the data bus, it is broken down into smaller units called data packets. These data packets are then sent across the bus in parallel, which means that multiple packets can be transferred at the same time. In addition to carrying data packets, the data bus also carries control signals that determine when data is transferred and where it is going. These control signals are managed by the component called a bus controller, which ensures that data is transferred efficiently and accurately. So the question arises that why is the data bus so important in modern computer systems? Well, the data bus is what allows different components of a computer system to work together seamlessly. For example, the CPU, central processing unit, uses the data bus to communicate with the RAM, random access memory, and similarly with the other components, ensuring that data is processed quickly and accurately. In conclusion, the data bus is an essential component of modern computer systems, allowing different components to communicate with each other and ensuring that data is transferred quickly and accurately. The control bus is another type of bus in computer systems alongside the data bus and address bus. Like the data bus, the control bus is a collection of wires that allows different components of a computer system to communicate with each other. However, the control bus is responsible for carrying signals that control the flow of data and the behavior of the system as a whole. 
some signals that are carried by the control bus include first is clock signal this signal is used to synchronize the timing of different components of the system the clock signal is generated by a clock generator and is sent to all components of the system via the control bus second one is interrupt signal this signal is used to interrupt the normal flow of program execution and notify the cpu that a specific event has occurred for example an interrupt signal might be generated when a keyboard button is pressed or when a file transfer is complete third is reset signal reset signal is used to reset the system to its initial state when the reset signal is sent all components of the system are initialized and their states are reset fourth one is memory enable signal memory enable signal is used to enable or disable access to memory when the memory enable signal is sent the memory module is enabled or disabled accordingly fifth one is io signal this signal is used to control input and output operations when the io signal is sent the cpu can perform input or output operations to or from peripheral devices the control bus is managed by a component called the control unit which is responsible for coordinating the signals sent over the control bus and ensuring that the system behaves correctly the control unit is typically integrated into the cpu and is responsible for fetching instructions from memory decoding them and executing them in summary the control bus is an important component of modern computer systems that allows different components to communicate with each other and control the behavior of the system as a whole signals carried by the control bus include clock signals interrupt signals reset signals memory enable signals and io signals and are managed by the control unit <coughs> to wrap up our discussion on the uses of buses in von neumann architecture it's clear that the buses play a critical role in modern computer systems by providing a pathway for communication between different components especially the data bus allows for the transfer of data between cpu and memory while the address bus is used to specify the location of the data in different memory in addition the control bus carries signals that control the flow of data and the behavior of the system as a whole all the three types of buses work together seamlessly to enable the von neumann architecture which is a fundamental model for computer modern computer systems by utilizing buses computer systems are able to operate efficiently and effectively enabling users to perform a wide variety of tasks with ease whether it's browsing the web editing documents or playing games buses are a critical component of a modern computing that enable us to interact with technology in new and exciting ways we hope this video has helped you understand the importance of buses in von neumann architecture and how they enable the functionality of modern computer systems thank you for watching